Oh, a little close there. Tim Hortons is way too busy this morning, so I had to make, make a sacrifice and get some McDonald's, which still isn't bad. <sighs> Gotta have my caffeine in the morning, you know? Yes, it's the morning. Early Pidgey gets the worm. Sometimes my Pokemon analogies are just not funny. Anyways, what is going on, my fellow Poke Peeps and Freaks and Geeks? And a big shout out to all my fellow Ghoul Army members who have recently subscribed. Thanks for joining us. Woo! So I figured since the most recent pack bottle I had with the leader of the Ghoul Army himself, <coughs> where I got absolutely nuked. Let's reveal what this card is in three, two, one. Horrible. Anyway, to wash the bitter taste of defeat out of my mouth, other than using coffee, I figured I'd open something to ensure I get at least a, a couple epic pulls. What's that? One of these bad boys. See, some guaranteed EX cards. Can't lose with this one. Now for any of my poker peeps out there who don't know, Costco now, of course, uh, sells Pokemon cards. More specifically, these epic three packs of tins. And they're not a bad price at all. I mean, for 40 bucks Canadian, you're getting the three tens themselves, you're getting the three EX cards right there off the hop, you're getting the three tin pack codes, and of course you're getting the pack codes inside the packs, and the packs. Woo! My personal and honest opinion, I think this is an absolutely phenomenal deal for three tins. I think it's better than an Elite Trainer Box. But that's just my personal polk opinion. And opinions are like a-holes. Everybody's got one. I personally didn't purchase this. My homie Daryl picked it up for me. Shout out to Daryl if you're watching, bro. Sometimes I trade tattoo work for Pokemon cards, so... If you're ever looking for a dope Pokemon or just a generally nerdy, epic tattoo, then holler at Trainer Trey. Of course, you have to be of age or whatever. And I know there's a wide variety of tin three packs that they have there at Costco, so I'll likely be grabbing a couple more of these in the future, so yeah. Like a Pokemon boombox. <laughs> Pokemon. Yeah. Anyways, my fellow Poke Peeps, like I said, I just had to wash the uh, taste of defeat out of my mouth and open up something that would uh, guarantee a couple EX cards, and uh, I see three there. So we're off to a good start. Let's just hope the packs inside contain something a little bit more epic. Shout out to all my newcomers to the channel. Sincerely appreciate you guys coming by and hanging out with Trainer Trey. I think that's about it. Shout out to the homie Daryl for picking this up for me. If you guys want, hit up my Instagram. You can check out the epic uh, Superman wearing a Hawaiian t-shirt tattoo that I did for him. Bad ASS. I'm still up in the air about cursing on this channel, so. I'll just spell out curse words, okay? Holy S-H-I-T. <sighs> oh man. No wonder I have very little friends, eh? Anybody want to come hang out at the Pokemon Cave? Excuse me. But without further delay, my fellow Poke enthusiasts, let's get into today's episode of a Costco three pack of tins. And uh, yeah, hopefully we can uh, knock it out of the park with these tins. Sports jokes, I just, I'm not a fan. <laughs> let's do this. Lights, tins. Action. All right, Poke Peeps, there we have it. Three epic tins from Costco. Um, this isn't like a Fairfield repack or anything like that either. This is actually legit from the Pokemon Company International. Oh yeah. So yeah, it's not like a secondary market product or anything like that, which is pretty friggin' awesome. So yeah, now I know there's three tins here. However, that Pikachu one right there, I'm saving for something pretty epic. You guys will have to come back for a future episode to see. It'll actually be opened up on somebody else's channel, but yeah, Pikachu is going off to the side. Mewtwo, Zygarde, getting ripped open. So uh, let's Scyther sigh into this. Scyther! I probably didn't even need to use the uh, Scyther blade for today. Safety first. Get the skin off. Eh. Two, three, garbage. Perfect. So like I said, guys, I am keeping that Pikachu one off to the side because it is being sent away to somebody. More on that in the future if you guys care to come back and check it out, but yeah. Scyther! My, uh, my boy Mewtwo here is definitely getting opened. Same with, uh, Zygarde. Skin off. Perfect. So shiny. Might as well get the skin off the Zygarde tin while I got the Scyther blade out. Perfect. Pikachu, just chill over here for now. Ugh. Just get both these bad boys open to get the contents out. Of course, in the Mewtwo tin, we've got our wonderful Mewtwo EX promo, and behind it, I'm certain, is the pack code for you guys. Watch out! Triple power tin Mewtwo pack code for you guys there. I'm pretty sure it unlocks a uh, deck online. Mewtwo a sleeve here. Shout out face to face games. Keep a couple sleeves off to the side because we know we're gonna get some good pulls. Maybe, I don't know. Cool. Chill back there Mewtwo. So we got two XY evolutions, we got a Fates Collide, and we got an XY Breakpoint. I'm wondering if the packs are the same in all of these tins. Ugh. The pack code for you guys, which like I said, I'm pretty sure unlocks a playable deck online. Already doing better than the last episode with these two hits right there. And of course, ugh. So not quite the same packs. We got a XY Evolutions and a ugh, Steam Siege, which I can't talk smack about anymore since it gave me a really good pull the last time I opened it. And XY Fates Collide and an XY Breakthrough. Alrighty. 
stack of packs. Had to set them up for a ritualistic opening ceremony. All right, let's get right into this. First pack. Start off with some XY evolutions and uh, pray to the polka gods for the best. Man, I still cannot get over the horrible, absolutely horrible elite trainer box that I had on that pack battle with Dark Ghoul. I'm uh, stoked he won, but, well I shouldn't say I'm stoked he won, I'm happy for him that he won. Oh, what am I doing here? Oh perfect, our rare is a Starmie. Professor Oak's hint and yeah, all right, just screwing that up right to start. It's because I'm reminiscing about that savage loss. Get this Steam Siege out of the way. But yeah, you know, hopefully I'm gonna make up for it in this one right here as I screw up pack codes and uh, pull the wrong card to the front and do the wrong energy back thing. Here we go, we've got uh, out of focus amber palm, in focus amber palm, shield on, monferno, fungus, bergmite, joltic, mantine, clink, reverse hollow marrow, and just a regular rare hoopa, which I've actually never pulled from this set, oddly enough. Still pretty cool, but uh, yeah. Next, getting into some fates collide. I'd actually like a Lugia break out of this uh, pack. I do not have one yet, and would like to add one to my collection. Oh, we got a white pack code, that's uh, okay. I swear if I don't get some good stuff out of these two tins here, I might have to crack into the one that I uh, said I was keeping sealed for a special something. Fairy Garden, Shuckle, Cincino, Jigglypuff, Riolu, Seal, Larvitar, Vullaby, Reverse Hollow, Aerodactyl, and a Holographic Tyranitar, which is still pretty cool, but that's kind of a slap in the face from the uh, the special Tyranitar that uh, Dark Wool pulled. Eh, whatever, I'll take it. XY breaking on through to the other side here. Um, I'm sure majority of my fellow poke enthusiasts have seen the uh, new white pack code that I have right here. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> the let's go, not let's go, oh my goodness. Detective Pikachu movie trailer. I just watched it for like the 97,000th time and uh, let me know what you guys think, man. I am super stoked. I don't care what any f reviewer or person or nice reverse hollow Zorak, that's a good hit. And dun da da da. Well. XY Evolutions. Like I was saying, uh, yeah, I don't really care what any other uh, like reviewer or reviewing website or anything like that says because I've seen some bad, bad things mentioned about the uh, Detective Pikachu movie trailer thus far. And honestly, man, I'm just super thankful and stoked to live in a time where they brought it into like a legitimate uh, production like that. Super stoked, personally excited as all hell to see that movie. The Mr. Mime part was funny. Uh, my homie Fur did a reaction video to it. As I go to mention Fur, I pull an Onyx right here. Shout out Fur. He did a reaction video to it and it was like the best one I've ever seen so far. I was seriously equally enthusiastic. But yeah, go check him out if you haven't seen that yet. Reverse Hollow Switch and Dun, da, da. Dun, a regular rare eradicate. I wonder if I'm gonna catch a break soon and not eradicate break. Oh well. XY Evolutions. I'm gonna have to rename my channel Trainer Trey opens the worst Pokemon product on YouTube for the most part. Cause holy man, it's been a while since I've gotten something like super spicy. But I guess uh, nah, we're gonna change our luck right here. Coffee! Revive, here comes Team Rocket. Was that our rare? It is. What goes on? I'm screwing up these packs here. I think there's something different with these XY evolutions or who knows, reverse hollow machoke and a regular rare Starmie. Was that a double rare pack? I mean, we're getting double rare packs, but yeah, all right. Fates collide. I hope my fate collides with a nice pull in this pack right here. I dig, let dig my way to the back and hopefully get something spicy. We've got a pack code for my poke peeps. We've got one, two, three to the back. Let's not screw this up. Do we have an energy card? Oh, oh my. I don't know why I thought that was gonna be. Where is the energy card in here? I don't really even care. Did we get something else cool though? We got a reverse hollow binnacle. There's no energy card in Fates Collide. I guess my memory sucks. Anyway. Finally. Thank you, dear Arceus, for this spicy pull. Woo! I know I probably shouldn't get that excited over uh, one EX card out of uh, eight packs, but I mean, I guess that's a good ratio. And for what I've been pulling lately, that's an awesome ratio. Last pack, XY Breakpoint. I was seriously reaching my XY Breakpoint from, that opened really easy, from getting all of those non-pulls, pulls, non-pulls, pulls, not good pulls. Can't even speak, I'm still stoked over that uh, Mega Alakazam. Here we go, we've got an all night party. I'd like to go to that all night party, that looks like tons of fun. We got Stantler, the Majestic Deer, we got Slow Bro, the Bro, Petalil, Skrelp, Corsola, Glamrow, Phantump, Reverse Hollow, Lilligant, and the last card is not anything I really want, just a shifty shift tree. Super tempted to crack open this little electric mouse tin right here, but uh, yeah, like I said, it is going off to somebody else, so 
guess what? Can't do it. So if you guys wanna see what kind of uh, epic polls I miss out on when this other content creator opens up this tin on their channel, stick around. Not today, but like on an upcoming epics. You know what I mean. More details to come in the future, that's what I'm saying. So yeah. Well, Poke Peeps, that sums it up for today's episode. Not too bad for cracking open just two of those tins right there. Like I said, I can only imagine there's something super spicy inside that Pikachu one, but it is what it is. We got the holographic Tyranitar, which is pretty sweet. We did manage to pull this reverse Hollow Zoroark, which is awesome as well. Of course, we got the two tin cards or two tin EX cards. And last but not least, this super spicy Mega Alakazam. I am pumped to have opened this. Thanks for pulling through, Alakazam. As always, guys, a big sincere thank you to everybody who keeps coming here and consistently supporting this channel and my ridiculous episodes. It means a lot to me. Much love. That is a really bad hand heart. Oh, I almost forgot. So I just got this in the mail recently from the homie Casual Collector. Of course, as you can see, I already went ahead and opened it because I'm impatient. And of course, he also gave me the go ahead. I personally wanted this card for my collection. I was having trouble pulling it. And I much prefer pulling cards than buying them. So anyway, he actually sent this to me uh, before I ended up pulling it on my battle against Edith and Evie. But being the total gentleman that the Brolem casual collector is, he went ahead and seriously shipped me this holographic Charizard card from Dragon Majesty, and he didn't charge me for shipping or anything, just out of the kindness of his heart, and I friggin' seriously, sincerely appreciate stuff like this. He even signed it for me. So friggin' awesome. Yeah, big thanks to the homie casual collector for hooking this up. Just put that back there with Charizard. Thank you so much, casual collector. Much love, dude. Anyways, my fellow Poker Peeps, thanks for checking out today's episode. Like I said, guys, drop a comment down below. Let me know what you think of the new Detective Pikachu movie trailer. I'm friggin' stoked about it people are giving it mixed reviews but uh i'm personally just super hyped even though it doesn't come out until summer 2019 to leave us in suspense but yeah i think that pretty much sums it up total gentleman and casual collector sends me a holographic charizard pulling a super spicy mega alakazam ex sending this electric mouse tin off to another fellow epic content creator who's likely going to pull absolutely something phenomenal out of it on their channel and the new detective pikachu trailer came out pretty epic day again a big shout out to all my new subscribers coming over from the ghoul army you guys are awesome anyways as always this is trainer trey saying Train on, game on, you guys stay epic, stay awesome. Thanks so much for coming to hang out today, guys. And until that next episode, peace. Pokemon. Tins.